failure. Mm-hmm. Um, and and that's also something that disqualifies a lot of these candidates for me. I know a lot of people go, oh, that's not a good reason to disqualify somebody. But, you know, if it, I, look, just like Carly Fiorina, um, you know, when she says that a, uh, a joint is worse than a you know, then uh, smoking pot is worse than drinking alcohol. That is a ridiculous statement. Anybody that knows anything on the subject uh, these days knows that's completely false. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're going to say stuff like that, just to pander towards, you know, certain members of your, the you know, the party you're running for the nomination of, um, you know, I don't really, I don't dig you. And, uh, um, and also, you know, I hear, I hear talking about, I know, uh, Vladimir Putin, you spent 45 minutes with him. That I spent, I met Donald Trump more than once. Doesn't mean I know him. You don't know him, Miss Fiorina. You met him once. Come on. Yeah, I agree. Just like we saw John McCain talking about, I know who all these Syrian rebels are. Meanwhile, he's hanging out with Al Qaeda over exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's all those things like that. Now, Sean, our time is short. We got about 30 seconds left. Uh, can you tell us, you know, uh, what people can do to keep up with you and your work? Um, you can just follow me uh, uh, at the real X-Pac. Uh, thank you so much, Sean. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jakar. I appreciate you having me on. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of Nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Earlier today, I had a chance to speak to Harry Dent after he appeared on The Alex Jones Show, and he dropped some major financial news that you do not want to miss. And welcome back. Our guest tonight is Harry Dent. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Dent. You are the founder of Dent Research, and your most recent book is The Demographic Cliff. We definitely appreciate you joining us here in Austin. Yeah, nice to be here. All right. Now, I know... You didn't have a chance to watch the debate, and you really didn't miss that much, so I'll be quite honest with you. But, you know, with uh, candidates out there, does anybody have an economic plan that you can get a hold of? You know, I, I don't see it because Republicans think if you lower taxes, you're going to get economic growth. We've already seen a bubble in debt and overgrowth and overinvestment. We, we don't need that. That's the wrong solution at this time. Normally, that would be a good solution. We need a massive debt restructuring, and that's politically unacceptable for either party. I see a crisis happening in 2016 and beyond that this whole bubble is going to collapse after keeping it going for years and years with free money and irresponsible fiscal policy, I mean, monetary policies. 
And, and, and when we get uh, enough of a crisis, people are going to realize we cannot afford these entitlements we've promised for generation yes. ahead. We cannot afford, you know, 400% GDP of debt and 400% GDP entitlements. So, we, so we're going to have to restructure this, but nobody will do it until we realize it's just like labor unions. When, when they finally ruin an industry and it's going bankrupt, they finally say, okay, we'll take half our pensions. Yes. We're going to have to do that sort of thing. No candidate is seeing that. And again, I think the Republicans, I would agree with them more than the Democrats on, on economic policy, but I think they're naive to think, oh, if we lower taxes and invest more, very few companies need more capacity. They got more capacity than they need, and China's got more capacity than the rest of the world combined being unused. So this is not a time to invest in the future. It's a time to restructure the past so, so prices can come down, bubbles can burst, debt can be restructured and eliminated like in the 30s, and we can grow again. You have to do that first. You have to go through winter before you get to spring. That's my view. Now, as you're talking about 2016, you're saying that 2016 is going to be one of the worst years. Why is that? Well, you know, we've had one bubble after the next crash. 2000 bubble in tech stock, crash. Then we had the 2007 bubble, crash. Even a, stocks went even lower. Every bubble's taken us higher and every crash has taken us lower. Now we got what I call this final bubble because it's totally QE, it's totally artificial. It's not the economy causing this like in the past ones. And when this bubble bursts, it's gonna be the last to burst and it's gonna take us to even lower lows. So I think, and it's gonna happen quickly. Bubbles burst rapidly as we just saw starting to happen in yes. China. So I think uh, as a year from beginning to end, it'll be worse than, than the 70s worse 70s crash the 2000 crash, the, you know, the 2008 crash, it'll be probably as bad as 1931. That was the worst down year for the entire last century. I think it's going to be like that, maybe worse. And you have some credibility because you've been talking about crashes. You talked about the Japan crash and the real estate crash, and this is just another thing that you see coming down the pike. Yeah, and we predicted 20 years ago, when we saw Japan crashing, this was all because of demographics. Their baby boom was at a peak. They'd caused a bubble in stocks and a big bubble, even bigger bubble in real estate. Those things had to crash, and they did. But we predicted at the same time, no, Europe and the U.S., the rest of the world, would see the greatest boom in history, and it wouldn't end until 2007. And that's when we got in trouble. And that's when, ever since then, we've had endless QE just to keep a, a slowing economy barely alive. Without it, we, we were starting to go into a depression-like economy in 2008 before government stepped in and printed 10 to 12 trillion around the world. That's a lot of free money yes. to offset a downturn. You can't do that forever and it's starting to fail. I'm seeing all the signs that quantitative easing is finally failing. Even Mario Draghi said, I'm gonna raise it, and then all of a sudden, nope, his board members said no. <laughs> you know, and the stock markets didn't like that. The Fed started tapering over a year, I mean, in 2014, and hasn't been printing money for over a year. So. This is coming to an end, and I think it's going to come very abruptly. I tell people in a bubble, and we're in another bubble, mm -hmm. it's better to get out a little early than late because when they crash, they crash at least twice as fast as they build, and they're already building exponentially. So this is a dangerous time, and, and I think most people are not going to see this coming. And as you uh, start off mentioning about all the free goodies we offer here in the United States of America, I want to get your opinion on free college tuition. We've seen President Obama come out and say, you know, this is the way to get all the kids into the colleges, and then supposedly we're going to have some type of return on the investment. Do you see it that way? Well, you know, to be pragmatic, there's only so many jobs that really require that. Everybody can't have a college degree and everybody can't be a doctor. And the same thing in the world. Every country, most emerging countries, will never dominate computers and technology and healthcare and financial services and high end things. There's only so many. So I think finding a way to lower college costs, because college costs are, are crazy, they're yes. worse than healthcare. Um, would be good, but to say everybody gets a free college tuition, I think, I hate to say it, it'd be a waste of money, and not everybody, the reason you have a lot of dropouts from high school into the early college is a lot of people really can't handle the material. I hate to be that realistic, but it's just true. So I think that's kind of an idealist. I like in Europe, where they say for doctors, which are very high, they say we will pay your education costs, but you have to charge more, much more reasonable fees. So it's a win-win, it's a trade-off. That sort of thing can make sense, but just say everybody gets a free college tuition no matter what, I just, I think that's naive. Yes, yes. I wanna ask you about investments. You know, a lot of people watching this, a lot of people don't have anything investments. They don't, they don't have anything even in the bank. So, you know, for somebody, let's say, you know, they're working, you know, a husband, wife, you know, they have four kids or whatever. 
What can they do to try to put some money away or have some investments? But that is one of the problems. I'm talking about a big stock market crash, probably 70% in the next year and a half. Oh, wow. that's, that's big. Yeah. So it's like 2008, but bigger. But, but most people don't have much money in the stock market, which is good in a way. But real estate is what, what counts for most people. A lot of people own a home, and some people own a vacation home or some rental properties or something. That's also at danger. We predicted the real estate crash in late 2005. We said this bubble is peaking, and nobody thought it was, just like the Japan thing. And, and it crashed, and a lot. that's where the everyday person got hit. If you can sell your home and rent instead, and I'm, I'm, I'm renting. I've been renting since late 2005. I follow really? my own stuff, and I've saved a lot of money. And then wait to buy housing again, or, or it, let's say you're looking to retire and you want to go from a, a 4,000 square foot home to a 2,000 square foot townhouse, do that now. You just cut your exposure to real estate in half. So protecting yourself from a fall in real estate is the best thing. We tell people in general, this is unlike anything you'll see in your lifetime. Everything's going to go down like in 2008. It's a bubble, a bubble in everything, real estate, commodities, stocks, everything, even um, bonds. Everything goes down, so you're best to get in safe, liquid investments and wait for the bubble to crash and then start buying real estate, then start buying stocks again, then start buying gold. Gold is going to continue to crash. I hate to say this. People think it's a crisis hedge. It's an inflation hedge, and we're not seeing inflation. We're going to see deflation when all these bubbles unravel and money is destroyed. All right, Mr. Dent, we have about two minutes left, so leave us with your final thoughts and also tell the people how they can keep up with your work. Okay. Yeah, again, um, we only see it. We're in what I call the winter season. We just saw a fall boom. That's where you get the greatest bubbles, like in the Roaring Twenties. Well, the Roaring Twenties was followed by the Great Depression, and this is just how natural cycles go. Nobody likes winter. Nobody likes depressions. Nobody likes stocks crashes or recession. But we have to have them. Winter clears the decks for the next spring boom, and we've got massive debt, as I said before, on all around the world and bubbles and everything. The next generation is not going to afford to live, buy a house, get health care, invest in stocks if we, if we keep these bubbles going. So we need this kind of restructuring. So, so this is going to happen whether we like it or not. All I tell people, you can prepare. If you get liquid, if you see this coming, and again, it's once in a lifetime. This is yes. not something you do every time there's a stock correction. This is a once in a lifetime reset. Get safe. Protect the money you have in real estate, in stocks, or anything. Protect the money now. Preserve it. And when everything crashes, and I'm talking stocks go down 80% and things like this. Real estate goes down 50% or more. So we're going to see more real estate fall. If you can protect it and rebuy, that's how you increase, make extreme wealth in a downturn like this. You don't buy it by trying to get better yield on a bond or find a stock that you think's better. All stocks are going to go down. Most real estate's going to go down. Gold's going to go down before it goes up again. So, so this is not the time to be in gold as well. So protect your assets. Hunker down. Cost your costs. Don't buy an expensive new car. Don't buy a new house right now. You know, if your kids in college stay there, but once they get out, tell them to get in the workforce before things get worse. So, so just be cautious for once in your life. It will pay off. Yes. And what are the websites and the contact information? HarryDent.com. Uh, we, we're offering the demographic cliff for free, the updated version recently, all just $4.95 shipping. And I also have a free daily newsletter called Economy and Markets. Again, put in your website, free. So you can keep up with everything we're thinking. We have other services. We say, look, get to know us first. And these are the two ways to get to know us. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Harry Dent, Dent Research. And that's it for our show tonight. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center. And we'll see you again on our next broadcast. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, 
and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are it's what i've experienced and it just synergistically puts everything in there infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 you are watching the infowars nightly news which airs 7 p.m central at infowarsnews.com and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide